Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Another Code. This is episode 7. In last episode, we finished off the plate puzzle. We did the confusing to me, <laughs> even if it shouldn't have been, I don't know, um, safe puzzle. We did that one in the last episode. And we got two keys. One was for yes, Franny's parents, know. which was Henry's room, and, and Marie, and, you know, how we found out how Franny's, Franny and her mother left the island leaving Henry behind to be all miserable and depressed and now we can look in Franny's room things like that so today we're using the other key for Franny's room maybe you'll remember something else Dee yes I reckon this will be a goodie for memories because Dee seemed to have liked his cousin This is it, Ashley. This is Franny's room. This is where we play together. Ugh, the music in this game is stunning. The piano-iness of it. And also, I love the look of this room. The kiddiness, but also, it's huge. It's really nice. Why would a kid ever leave? Well, they're on an island, so I guess they need a nice room, right? Huh. All sorts of shapes in here were these Franny's. Do we have to build something out of them? Or do we just need to move them? We just need to move them. Okay. Slightly less exciting. We need to do them from top to bottom, though. So that's something. <gasps> it's another one of those wooden figures. Do we need to use the... The woman, I guess it was Marie, is this going to be Henry? So she's got the mother and father blocks. Uh, dolls. There's a doll inside the box meant for building blocks. I wonder if Franny made this doll too. It's missing its right arm. What? It's broken. See? Oh, you're right. The missing piece must be somewhere around here. I don't think this doll is broken. I think it's supposed to be missing its right arm. This is a doll of Franny's father. And? And Franny's father was missing his right arm. Hmm. Yeah, like, he went to war, right? So, like, it, it, it sort of makes some sort of sense. Okay, so we got two dolls. I'm assuming we'll have to use them somewhere. Maybe in this room if we find, like, a dollhouse <laughs> or something along those lines. I had a low table like this when I was little. It was great for drawing or playing house. Yeah, nice little stools. The nieces have actually got something similar, it's just more sort of... Oh man, what a cute teddy bear. <laughs> it's just more sort of uh, toyish, as in bright colours and stuff. And plastic. <laughs> that was Franny's favourite. These vintage bears are cool. I actually love teddy bears. <gasps> Suddenly I remembered that night. The one from my dreams. That night. On the table... There was a cake with candles, and a bear with a red ribbon. Here you go, Ashley. This is a present from Daddy. Yeah, that's what Mom said. But Dad wasn't there. Where was he that night? Ashley? I... What's wrong? D, I remembered something too. When I saw the bear, my mom... Your mother? Yeah, I barely remember anything about her. But sometimes I have this dream. I feel like it ends in the middle though. Like there's more to it. Huh. That reminds me of something Jessica said. She told me that if I meet my dad, I'll also learn about my mom. Is that why you came here to see him? I... Uh... Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's interesting though how we are finding memories for both D and for Ashley as you go through the, the story. And the, the original game is called Another Code, was it Two Memories? At least over here it was called that, like in, I know in America it had a different name. It wasn't Another Code, it was... Oh, I can't remember now. Hmm. No, no clothes in there, they bag it off, didn't they? Huh? 
I thought I... Ah. Come on. Come on. There we go. The toast cap's on the small sofa. Yeah, there's blocks everywhere. She was a kid, you know. <laughs> Mess. Huh. Little green desk. Did Fanny do a study in here? Maybe. Huh. Handles are so cute. Um. Uh, yeah, they are cute. I've never, I never had anything like that when I was growing up. I had my video games and that did, that did me, I suppose. It's a child's bed. It looks pretty old. The blanket's color is faded. A little girl used to sleep here a long time ago. Hey, D. What was Franny like? Um, well, I guess she was mostly sweet, but she could be a little sassy. She was real easy to make laugh, but real easy to make cry too. And she was incredibly lonely. Oh. No. Oh. Good job Dee came around now and again, I suppose. Or, at once. <laughs> Can't really make out. Oh, I see the doll thing, but let's have a look at other stuff first, shall we? I like the look of the arrows as you go up and down at the bottom of the screen, but they, uh, yeah, the drawn nature of them makes me think of Hotel Dusk. Hmm? Just that sort of noir, sort of black and white thing. And you know, I'd love for them to remake that as well. What? What happened to the book? Did I take? Hmm? Ah, oh, she's just taking them to see if there's anything there. Okay. Let's check out this then. This is probably going to be number four, I would have thought. I can't go across to the origami. I think I need to get away from examining this bit first. So let's keep looking then, for now. This one looks like it must have some up behind it. It was like... Hol hmm, maybe not then. Is that what was placed? It looked funny. Okay, let's get out of here and let's... Uh, Let's examine the origami crane thing. Come on, number four. Yeah, tarnished teddy bear. Okay. Okay, let's do a lot of sort of updating ourselves with characters and all that sort of stuff after this one. Living in a mansion has been like living in a time capsule. Each room is untouched by time. And as I use these rooms in my day-to-day -day life, I find myself developing an interest in antique furniture. When I gaze upon the elaborate decor, when I feel the fine materials used in the construction, materials that have withstood the test of time, I think I must be feeling the same sense of elegance and high living once enjoyed by the Edward family. I'll sometimes catch myself wandering from room to room just to admire the furniture. One might even say I'm becoming an enthusiast. Yet I found it difficult to enjoy the child's room on the east side of the second floor. Looking at the dusty teddy bear or that small desk, my thoughts rush back to Ashley and how I left her behind 11 years ago. That makes sense. It must be sad. Oh, Ashley, I want to see you just one more time. I have to imagine you don't even remember my face. You are just three years old at the time. I want to finish another and then see with my own eyes how you've grown. I feel as though I've been stuck in time myself and, can, and only you can bring me back. Yes, we'll... Uh... Ah, oh, there's nothing else, no more characters and stuff. I thought there would have been. But I have got... Ah, that's an item, probably. I can't... I feel like I should put the items there, but maybe... Can't be used here. Oh, okay. Let's just have a look at it, then. It's a shelf decorated with dolls. It's definitely got two grooves there to put the other two dolls. Hey, D, Take a look at this doll. It's Franny's. She made it to look like herself. So this one is supposed to be Franny? Yes. What's wrong? Is something bothering you? I remember something Franny said. Dee, these dolls have to be nice to each other. If they get along, then... Then... then what? Sorry. That's all I remember. The dolls need to get along? What does that mean? Okay, I thought this would have been... would have been it. Indentations, so... How do you know which one's meant to go in the middle, which one's meant to go on the other side? That is... the question. Ah, why? Doll of a woman. Does it really matter? Does it not matter? 
woman in the middle? I think so, because now... Hmm. Ah, we can take her as well. I think she should... How do you know? Oh, this model, the pink dress is pretty cute. Nothing about it says... I think he should be on the right, just because he's on... No, he should be on the left so he can hold someone's hand, right? And I would think Franny would be in the middle. We'll try that. I, I don't know, it's just a guess. Um. So over here we'll put him so he can hold someone's hand, like I said. And then Franny in the middle. Um. Yeah, I thought it might have been. It's open. Yeah. This must be what she meant by the dolls getting along. Right, yeah, that makes sense now. I didn't even think of it that way. Um. I thought of them holding hands, but... I wonder what's in here. And in here, a key. Ah. Sprout key? Oh, I thought that would have been in a fountain because of what the, the message said in the other room. I wonder which but that was just a bit of flavour, maybe. It's a ribbon Franny loved. Well, let me take it, let me take it. Oh, I can't, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got the sprout key. Let's get out here then. We've checked everything in this room, I think. So it's only one more locked door. No, there was another one as well. Anyway, let's go in this one. Yes. Whose room is this? This has got to be Dee's father, right? This is going to be an important one for Dee, I would think. Not here either. Where could you be, Jessica? Yeah, we're not seeing any signs of her since we got the, the glasses on the on the porch, are we? Okay, loads of books and stuff. I see, I see. Huh. This marble table looks expensive. It's also kind of cold when you touch it. Okay, so we can't look at the newspaper. I was thinking we would be able to. Yeah, it's big and comfy. Mm. But it's probably not great for watching TV from here. I agree, that's quite far away. <laughs> that's a small TV. I mean, in those times that was probably a decent sized TV, but It's a hummingbird. It's crooked. This bothers me to no end. This is sheet music, isn't it? Why was it hidden behind a painting? Hmm. The painting is of this bird. Ah! Did you know there's a puzzle hidden in this sheet music? If you solve the puzzle and play the music, you'll get to see the piano's secret. I just remembered something. This is the sheet music Franny played on the piano. Oh, really? I wonder if I'd be able to play it. You can play? Yeah, I practice on a school piano once in a while. Will you try playing this song? I'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll help jog some more memories. Franny told me there's a puzzle hidden in this sheet music. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. I see something, so so we don't have to come back. Can we take a photo while we're looking at it? Yeah, we can. What's this? I agree. That's yeah. So we won't have to come back. Definitely. I wonder if there's one in the other room as well. We'll go back to the other room before we go to the piano. Just to make sure. Hmm? Where's the power button? Is there a remote for this thing? No. No, Ashley. No remotes. 
Hmm. Lampshade's all faded. Base is dirty too. I wonder what colour it was originally. It looks purpley. Quill pen. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I always wanted to try one. Darn it. It's all dried out and hardened. Can't write a thing. Mm. This is not like in Order of the Phoenix, where uh, well, let's use blood. Huh? It's a nice table, and it's not broken or anything, even after all this time. Someone left a book open here. Were they looking something up? Can we look at it? No. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to check every bookshelf in case there's a crane behind a book or something. You never know. Looking for number six now. So that short, sort of tells you a little bit about the pacing of this game, I guess. It goes pretty quick, right? Alright, so... Let's try upstairs. Fanny, that's the best photo we've had of her. Oh. She's painting the Fanny. Looks a lot like the sketch in the art studio. Weird to think that Dee was friends with her all those years ago. Yeah. Hmm? Pitch is filthy. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Bunch of different kinds of alcohol from all over the world, huh? Hmm? Hmm. Closet's been cleared out. They always like their alcohol hmm? in these games, don't they? Can I try something? No, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> Pretty dusty up close. Makes sense, I suppose. It's a single bed, so I guess he didn't have a... You know, he didn't have anyone. They. Like, he didn't have a Marie. Is what I mean. Okay. So we found our, our crane. Number six. Hummingbird scanned. Um. Yeah. Let's check it. From the door knockers to tableware to paintings to sculptures in the fountain, a hummingbird motif permeates every corner of the mansion. I've noticed that. The fact that there are so many hum hummingbird decorations indicates that Lawrence had a strong fixation on them. Hummingbirds can be a symbol of healing and love, and are apparently a popular motif in Native American cultures as well. I believe it's possible Lawrence included hummingbirds all throughout the mansion as an attempt to alleviate his loneliness. It reminds me of something Sayoko once told me. In Japan, the crane has long been associated with good fortune. Designs featuring this particular bird are very popular. Origami cranes are most popular as it means as a means of making a wish. As such, those who wish for peace or a speedy recovery from illness will often make them in droves. So perhaps Lawrence's hummingbird decorations were made with a wish, were made with a with a wish <laughs> for peace in his own life. Sayoko taught me how to make origami cranes a long time ago. Maybe I should make a few and leave them around the mansion, with a wish that the departed may rest in peace. Hmm. Okay. And I noticed we had an update on Franny as well, so let's do that. Franny was Dee's friend. She lived in the mansion, was really good at piano. She also nicknamed him D. I would love to have known her and heard her play music. Okay. So, yeah, that's the next thing to do. But like I said, I would like to go to... Not Franny's room, the other room, before we go back. It does mean an extra loading screen, I know. I know. <laughs> but, uh... I think it's worth doing if it means we don't have to backtrack. So... Just to see if there was a painting in here. I don't know if there was. Ooh, the clock. We didn't check that last time. Five to seven. Stuck. Yeah, it's no painting in here for the other part of that. Unless it is only the one score we need, kind of thing. It could well be, gonna. Okay, let's go to the piano. Which way was it? It was downstairs, wasn't it? And we unlocked the door so we can go back through that way. Really does remind me of the Resident Evil remake. Um mansion sometimes. The drawing room. Not the piano room? <laughs> Just looking around for another hummingbird painting. Doesn't seem to be one. Okay. Old ground piano. If we use the uh, sheet music. Okay, progress. Huh? Music staff looks weird here. It's blank. There aren't any notes or rests indicated. Okay. Or rests indicated. Oh. 
This is the only place without any. Yep, um, I know where to put it. Yeah, that's the one. Can't quite see, though. Huh? And the keyboard, do we just... You can do it. <sighs> okay, so we can go through the album from you, that's good. Ah, it's a little mini game. I'm not sure if I should have added things from that painting somehow first. Hmm. Kind of lonely. Yeah, stuff missing. Okay, so what do we do? How do we add it? So I've added parts to the blank one, right? Hmm. But yeah, like I said, how do I add it on? I think I have an idea. So if I go up to the blank one, I can't take a photo mm. while it's got text on it, so... If I take a photo there... And now do... Um, overlay... With this... There it is. Now I just need to transcribe it. It's quite odd how it sort of makes you do things, if that makes sense. All right. First I should copy the score from the bird picture onto the sheet music. All right. Okay, she's doing it automatically, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a puzzle in how to actually make the game work, gameplay-wise there. But anyway, let's go. Sorry. Well, do I need to use the D-pad? I tried with the analog stick. Yeah, it could be a D-pad job. It's not timed. It's not a proper rhythm game or anything like that. Maybe it is a little bit timed. We've got plenty of time to actually do it in. Ashley, did you hear that? Sounds like it triggered something. Let's look around. Okay, so I guess we'll examine that next time, because God knows we haven't got time. <laughs> this has been Greenie XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a wee bit when we check out what's in that box to continue exploring the mansion. See you again in a bit, folks.